What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Swipe Right. I'm your host, Chris. Showing today my co-host, Kelsey, James, Cancer, and JoJo. It's been a little while since so we've done a Swipe Writer episode. you already seen it. If you haven't, go back and check out the first episode and get all the way back up to here. I have no idea what fucking number episode this is. It's one of them. It's the latest it's one. It's in the description. So, You'll fucking, figure it out. Yeah, check well, it the fuck out. But well, before we go ahead and start back up, I don't even remember where we were at last time, honestly. So, um, I can't God, really I forgot see. we called you Daddy. Oh, oh no! Yeah. You yeah, said that last time. time. I love how she uses the word "we." There was <laughs> no, one I'm person the one who campaigned for Daddy. That's true. One because person. I it would be funny, and then I had oh, to wait, call you Daddy, now? and it was wildly uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, you said new game. You get a new game. Ah, oh shit! Thank you. Don't do that. Almost. <laughs> hey, I, I always double save <laughs> for these specific reasons. Hmm. We're fine. Fancy. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I don't remember what the last thing we were doing was. I remember uh, the I'm, pool. Trickster, Trickster came in. Yeah, but I remember the pool with what's his face, the Wraith. Yeah. I right, think that yeah. might have been where we left off. Anyway, right. I think this is some weird flashback. All right. Well, Wait a sec. Away. Where are we? This isn't. Oh, jeez, it is. It's one of those reality show confessional rooms where all of the contestants talk directly to the camera. Hey, let's go, dude. I think today went really well. Those were, These are some of my first interactions with someone who isn't a parent that didn't end in bloodshed or untimely perishing in my Russian cottage. So I'm counting today as a win, no matter what happens. What do you uh. think of the newcomer? Mm, do I have to say it? Oh, I do. Okay. Mm. Attractive. Mysterious. I really don't know that many other words since I was raised by my mom in the woods since she was skewered by an elk and I had to wash her entrails off my seraphan. That being said, the other three should be should make sure to be on their guard. Look at her face. She just looks disgusted right now. I mean, but yeah, look at those very titties. <laughs> God damn it, James. <laughs> Fine point. <laughs> you know what? James has a point. Yep. Yeah. I yep. don't know who this newcomer will want to spend time with tomorrow, but I, for one, will not let my guard down easily. Who knows about the others? Wraith, I think, knows more than he's letting on about this place, but he's a hard nut to crack. Meanwhile, Spirit is just screaming all the time. Major buzzkill and... Trapper. Oof. Why do I even begin with Trapper? He's buff, sure, but daddy issues much? Sheesh. <laughs> Look, I don't need anyone. I've been perfectly fine on my own since my mother died. I eat a fine diet of raw deer, bear, and human. I'm fit as a fiddle. <laughs> that being said, Yeesh. something about this newcomer makes me think that I might be missing out on some huge part of that thing called life. I'm being honest, I don't remember what this voice is, so I'm just doing this voice now. Uh, I want to kill just about every person I meet within a minute of meeting them. <laughs> Even the few people I can tolerate, I want to see suffer for a long time. Or kill them. This person, for some reason, I would like them to continue living. Now, uh, for now, one false step in. <laughs> well, you know, everyone calls me Trapper for a reason. And they better call me Trapper. I swear, if you watch this later and you list me as Evan, I'm gonna kill the Chiron guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, today was fun. I don't wanna get ahead of myself or really um invest in something that I hurt me, so I don't know. Maybe we'll just see how it goes. Or maybe they'll realize I'm not the one for them. They seem pretty smart, so that's probably what'll happen. I gotta learn to go easier on myself. You could love me, but I can't love myself. I know that everyone thinks of me as a beautiful, cold-blooded monster. I can't help it. Circulation just isn't my thing. I don't choose to be cold. This cute hat and robe. Okay, those are a choice. Sure. If someone were to come around and capture my heart, at least that beats being stabbed in it. Besides, if I'm going Ooh. to get bloody revenge on a society that has used me to thrown me away, maybe it wouldn't hurt to have a little help. She's making a lot of sense. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <making a> <laughs> <sense. clears throat> 
You Chief open your Lock eyes. still alive. <laughs> <laughs> the sun is shining. There's not a cloud in the sky. And you feel great. Totally well rested. You're not even suspicious of the fact that you fell asleep by the campfire, but woke up several yards down the beach. I am now. Wait, are you on vacation? Was yesterday nothing more than a strange dream? No, not a dream. You really are here for another day. Why? I have no idea. You're obviously a weirdo. <laughs> and speaking of weirdos, I see the rest of the gang hanging out on the beach. This is definitely not a dream. I wouldn't rule out a nightmare just yet, though. At least they make for a sexy bunch, no? <laughs> and talk about sexy. Here comes God. Trickster carrying oh. coffee. <sighs> Jesus. Morning, beautiful. <laughs> oh, you might like a cup of joe to start this incredible day off right. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. 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 I see. Trickster seems suspiciously cheerful. I'm sure there's nothing nefarious behind his joyful demeanor, though. Everyone knows musicians are morning people. I also want to wish you luck. Today is an important one. My only regret is I won't be a big part of it. Budgeting <laughs> issues. <laughs> <laughs> also, I am just swamped with engagements, especially on the other island. Oh. Trickster winks at you. If you want to ask him how to reach the other island, now is the time. Uh, never mind, he left. Well, at least he brought me a cup of. No, oh, wait! Don't drink that. What the hell was that? They don't call him Trickster because he's good on a skateboard. And he definitely didn't get that name because he brings people drinks so they can have a good morning. That was almost certainly not coffee. And I don't want anyone casually poisoning, imprisoning, and torturing you. Yet. This is supposed to be a tropical paradise. The type of place you give a 5, 5, 10, 10, 2 thumbs up review to. Not an internal prison of pain. And please make sure to leave a review. It really helps with the algorithms. Jesus. Just trust me. I'm looking out for you. So can we please move on? Hey, wait a second. How did a possibly omniscient, possibly unreliable narrator physically just knock that coffee out of your hand? This is not Parliament, and the floor does not recognize the ocean to speak out of turn at this moment. I need no recognition, for I am the ocean. I dominate the land. I submerge those who defy me and become the watery grave. Actually, speaking of graves, I would like to say something. Something of grave importance. Oh, God. Fine, go ahead. Even if this place is an eternal prison of pain, and I'm not saying it is, even a place of extreme horror can still receive a 5 5 10 10 thumbs up review if it was crafted with love and or that's the type of thing you're into. You know, the ocean is right. A lot of hard work goes into a place like this. You should really judge it on the artist's intent. And whenever possible, start from the mindset of giving them the benefit of the doubt. Constructing these elaborate simulations, I mean vacations, is not easy to do. Sometimes, there are some small bugs or inconsistencies, but that's just the nature of the process. Perfection is overrated. The universe is filled with mysteries. We ought to celebrate those who venture to bare their souls as part of a creative process with the ultimate intent of making things for our enjoyment, not to be overly critical of them. Are you two trying to sell me on this place actually being good? You don't have to say it like that, especially after I saved you from that poorly made cup of coffee. Sorry, we should have been here five minutes ago. Yeah, please. <laughs> I always do this on the second morning. Sad, really. You know, they do make some great points. <laughs> oh, sure. They make great points. I agree. Can we please move on? Yes, of course. Apologies, Daddy. <laughs> Love it. Last few minutes aside, how have you been enjoying your time on the island? <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> 
there's no no option. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's the one I have to go with at this point. Yeah, yeah I mean, one of them's the best yeah. option. Yeah, for sure. Yes, I'm not at all suspicious. There's no no option here. An encouraging response. <laughs> Sorry. And we're glad, and we're so glad you are not suspicious. Hey Claudette, maybe Daddy isn't suspicious because they figured out what they're actually doing here. <laughs> That's great, <laughs> right, dude. Zero chance. They're still clicking, even right now, to see how you'll respond. <laughs> yeah, they're right. Hey, look at that! <laughs> yeah, they don't know anything. Doesn't matter though, Daddy. We're so happy to hear you're having fun. I didn't say I was having fun. We're all having fun, Daddy! <laughs> you hear us? We're all having fun! We do need to ask you one more question, though. We all had to sign away our rights to say anything negative about this place. Would you, Would you please sign this non disparagement agreement? <laughs> Jesus. No. No, I will not say <laughs> anything negative. <laughs> oh, you have my word that I, Daddy... <laughs> Agree to the terms of this verbal contract. <laughs> wow. Perfect. <laughs> oh, man. They got me, dude. A light bulb. Excellent. Yes. Yes. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> it's still totally cool if you have constructive feedback. The place to leave that is in a positive review, because <laughs> we all know that nobody reads negative reviews of games or uh, resorts like this. Anyway, I see Dwight and Claudette have gone into a trance, and with the grumbling I hear from your belly, that can mean only one thing. Breakfast. Yay. Panter is just... Ah, oh, you're so good, dude! I think dude. the best part about this is the ocean and the narrator bickering back and forth, and it's both Canter. Yeah. Yeah, Canter's having the like, like, like the best. Yeah, he's... <laughs> Perfect timing! Everyone rolls into the dining area to lard up those sexy little bellies with pancakes and bacon and... So much for maintaining these beach bods. We're all half-naked in a tropical paradise. Can we get some strawberries here? A yogurt? Magic powers will only get you so far. Even killers watch their sodium intake. You take your plate and sit down, thinking about yesterday and the whirlwind of feelings you experienced. Danger. Dread. Disorientation! It was like going through puberty again, except all in one day on a beautiful and mysterious island. It looks like you're not the only one doing some introspection, though. Trapper stands up to talk about how his day went, in case anyone was wondering. Personally, I wasn't. <laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't expect you to survive yesterday. So congrats, I guess. <clears throat> well, you survived today is 50-50 at best. Good luck! <laughs> Well, that was bizarre. Back to your brave... Nope. Now Hunter steps up to talk about her feelings. At this point, anything could happen. I'm open to all possibilities that this strange island has in store. How open-minded. Oh, well, that surely must be it. No one else would weirdly stand up during breakfast to... And just like that, here comes Spirit. Let's go, bae, let's go. Did everyone sleep well? I did, or should I say, did not. I haven't slept in 20 years on account of the whole burning quest for a familial revenge thing. And last night was no different. So, in that case, it was exactly how it should be. Got a lot of reading done, though. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to go back to quietly resenting being trapped here with you all, while looking cute doing so. Goddamn right. <laughs> Guessing Wraith has had enough time to work up the courage <coughs> to speak in front of a group. Oh, perfect! There he is! Take us home, Wraith! Oh, hey, that was fun yesterday, huh? I mean, not like too much on Abby weird. But like, uh, a good, but like a good amount. Yeah, was it fun for you getting turned down at the fucking pool by me? After wow. fucking James almost sent us down in your fucking bed. <laughs> I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, almost fucked up there. <laughs> oh, fun. And now they're all looking at you expectantly. Wait, are you supposed to stand up and explain how yesterday made you feel? 
There you go, James. You can take it. <laughs> all right. Uh, I think I need to process everything by myself. I'll see you all soon. <laughs> Damn! What a power play! Keep him wanting more! You're getting good at this gay, uh, uh, a sexy, true-to-life experience. <laughs> Shame you didn't get to eat any breakfast, but so be it. I don't feel like we've eaten at all since we've fucking been here, dude. Here, huh? Uh, uh, after breakfast, you head to the hot tub by yourself to clear your head. Yesterday was, in short, a lot. I still have flashbacks of the last time we were here, so... It's my turn again, so... <laughs> is the oh, hot tub a place a person goes to clear their head? Like, I not mean, me. Do you like that? Yeah, I'm Before not... you get there, though, something catches your attention. I would absolutely get in this hot tub. With that view, absolutely yeah, yeah, no get in this hot tub. You hear that? Who are you addressing? Me? Well, yeah, I guess. That is okay, right? You know, I might be pursuing a relationship with one of these four fine killers, but it feels like the person I'm getting to know the most is you, narrator. It's only okay in so much as it serves to illustrate that you've lost your mind seeing how i'm not real and all yeah i heard it this time i think it's coming from behind the pool shed <laughs> no no stick it in there a little more a little more oh yeah that's it yes okay how does that feel <laughs> oh ho ho intense <laughs> Nice. <laughs> yeah, that was right. This, this is uncomfortable. <laughs> now I want you to take that and put it right. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Just like that. <laughs> exactly like that. Oh, that's great. I swear I had no idea these two even do uh, whatever it is they're doing. It's a mystery. I'm afraid to look. They're not doing anything. They're assembling a radio or something. Yeah. Please say something so they know you're close by and can hear everything. Oh, God. Uh, wow! <laughs> that is a super cool bottle of Trickster brand suntan lotion someone left on this chair. Anyone know where I could buy some? Damn it. Oh, come on. A little privacy, please. Dwight is panting, and Claudette has a crazed look in her eyes. Sorry, I didn't know how else to let you know I was here. All that I could hear was you, uh, well, you know. Know what? What do you think we were doing? You were doing... I don't know exactly what you were doing, but it sounded like, uh, fun. You think two people sure. trying to find new ways to kill each other in a desperate search mm -hmm. to make their own death permanent is fun oops <laughs> we have five minutes ourselves every day and we spend hoping if we stab each other in just the right spot we won't get resurrected <laughs> i know i've come to believe that the key is finding the exact place we need to bleed out from and i believe that place is our appendix why else would it be there makes sense to me <laughs> Did you actually think we were me and him? Dwight? <laughs> I have to laugh that hard to get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a real laugh, dude. <laughs> My life is a nightmare, and yet it's somehow never been worse than right now. Let's go, lover boy. I noted all our entry wounds and our five minutes is up anyway. Good luck, daddy. You're gonna need it. God, I hate calling you daddy. <laughs> hey, if you figure out how to escape this island, please make sure your ghost tells us how. That was both a tragedy and a comedy. A cragmedy. Where'd the sea come from? Oh, comedy. Got it. <laughs> Shut up. I like it. Anyway, where were we? Oh, yes. You're heading to the hot tub by yourself to clear your head. Yesterday was, in short, a lot. So far, today has been exhausting, too. But you're dedicated to achieving a true, centered sense of calm. 
No drama, no bullshit, just soaking up sun in a heated pool. Today, you're on a date with you. Oh, I'm gonna fuck this up, too. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. I want to be on a date with me. That's true, dude. We're gonna wind up in the fucking <laughs> goddamn room pleasuring ourselves knowing fucking yeah, James' wrong. goddamn answers. <laughs> Who would make the first move? And aside from that disturbing thought, I was going to plan until a shadow blocks your precious sun. Jesus, oh. it's gonna be fucking rape. God, the writing on this game is just- it, the writing in this game is amazing, I'm so pleased. <laughs> Spiky tipped, like a palm tree is bending over to screw with you. Fucking Wraith, dude. But it's no tree at all, it's- uh Oh. Ah, okay. uh -oh. Fuck. Hey, Trickster. <laughs> this is weird, huh? Everyone just getting up and announcing how they're feeling? What's that about? Some force guy checking with the group? I don't like it. Fishy. I'm lazy. Whatever, that breakfast is dumb. <laughs> no one should eat before noon or after 4 p.m. Fuck that noise. Dude's got a very fucking weird schedule. <laughs> yeah, I do intermittent fasting. In my abs, by the way. <laughs> That's not how that works. <laughs> yeah, you can see them later in my private stage on the other island. You know, IP Island, where all the Hollywood celebs hang out. If you play your cards right. Oh, that's where Pyramid Head is. Hey, I'll play. <laughs> I could give you a private show. Intellectual property island. Exactly. Catch you around. Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, they're all yeah. over there. I played the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that works. <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I just... <laughs> can we just keep on going until... <laughs> the, Huntress, no. the Huntress comes up and... No? Nope. <laughs> <clears throat> His abs are pretty amazing. You gotta give him that. And the blowout bat? Threatening, but adorable. Makes for an interesting silhouette. Genius design. He's a psychopath, just like the rest of them. You don't gotta give him anything. And we're not best friends. Just because we had a little talk about doing a little talking, it's not an open invitation to go smashing the fourth wall every five seconds. Okay. Now that that guy is gone, and we've got some ground rules established that we're definitely going to abide by, it's time to lay back, take some deep, slow breaths, and... Wraith. <laughs> nope. Uh, Another shadow. These people will not leave you alone. Let's see who it is this time. Oh, please be spirit. Please be spirit. Please. Yes! Oh, it's spirit. Yes! Oh, I'm so fucking this up! I get it now! It's it ain't spirit. you anymore! What? I haven't answered nothing! It is on the third episode. I have not it is on the it. third episode. Me and you made an agreement that we would do whatever we could to fuck each other up. But if the spirit was on the screen, I got it. If the hunter's on the you're screen, right. you you're got right. it. I so I I fuck you, that. sir. Fuck My you. Man. That checks oh, yeah. out. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. Cantor's just owning over here. I'll I'll play along. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> we should get out of here. I know a place that brings a bit of welcome darkness to this tropical nightmare. Best of all, I'm the only one that seems to know about it. So you won't be bothered there. Say less. I don't even know why I'm telling you, really. It's my private spot. But I guess I've got a feeling that you'll appreciate it the way that I do. Let's go. Not like these other killers. They don't get me. But I'll get them. I'll get them all. Father too, and I'll punish him for what he did to my mother and me. <laughs> Spirit radiates a menacing aura, waving her sword around in the air as she threatens, well, the entire universe. It's scary and more than a little hot if you get turned on Let's by menace. Go, dude. <laughs> Look, all this time on Murderous Island has got us both a little confused about things. I'm choosing to lean into that. I suggest you do the same. I would like to point out, too, for the people who actually have played Dead by Daylight, or I'm sorry, the people who haven't played Dead by Daylight, she is ugly as all get out in the fucking game. They really, really made her hot as shit in this fucking game. Yeah. In the actual game, she does not look good at all. Not even fucking close. <laughs> you've seen her get mad, which is probably enough to scare you into compliance. But you've also seen that there's a more sensitive side hiding within her. Which one do you think will win out? 
I'm down with both, honestly. Let's fucking go, dude. You consider her offer, but... Before you can decide if you want to go off of Spirit, the Trapper uh, interjects. Fuck off, JoJo! Never! <laughs> I demand that you reconsider. <laughs> Actually, I strongly, strongly suggest it. Especially if you're choosing between me, a walking mountain with a, with a rich ore of gold running through it, and a little literal wisp of air. <laughs> Literally. Air. Here it is held together by air. I wouldn't put my faith in anyone who can be deceived by a strong breeze. Tough choice! You weigh your options quickly, because you can only go on one date today, and you also don't want to be hacked to pieces for saying the wrong thing. It's always good to remember that these are all cold-blooded killers. But you know what they say, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. And then die a horrible wretching, writhing death after drinking it because the lemons were poisoned all along! I'm sorry, this island has really got me tilted. So, who will it be? <laughs> Fucking easy. Let's go. I... I gotta go with spirit. Fuck you, Jojo. Sorry. <laughs> You've made the correct decision. Yo! Just because you picked me doesn't mean I'm going to slobber all over you like a dog. Understand? Let's go, dude! Well, of course <laughs> I... You've still got a lot to prove to me. I want to believe that our connection is real. But I've been hurt before. Literally. With a katana. A katana that I now wield in spectral form, you feel me? Because you will feel me. Ooh. And if you try any of that macho trapper crap... Uh -uh. Hey! Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> Before you ask Claudette and Dwight to clarify, I'll just let you know that yes, it is too late to change your answer now. I'm okay with this. I'm alright with the bounce of strip. <laughs> <laughs> You and Spirit arrive at the coast, overlooking the Black Lighthouse. It's old and decrepit, but still impressive. There's something magnetic about it. You can see why Spirit would be drawn to such a place. You look Spirit up and down and notice that she's wearing all black, just like the lighthouse. I'm noticing a bit of a theme. Is black your favorite color? Black isn't really a color at all. It's... The absence of color. It's a void. Like a black hole. A place that swallows light. A dying star. Damn, now that's dark. You're confident that Spirit will vibe with this, but... Spirit doesn't really care for science fiction. Can't fuck Not the man. type of spaceships and lasers, anyhow. She's much more into the type of strange adventures that kick off right here on Earth. Earth, is that where we are? You wonder. The lapping waves on the shore of the coast set a romantic tone. The fog that surrounds Spirit everywhere she goes blends perfectly with the mist rolling up over the rocky shoreline. She's at one with this place, and so are you. The peace doesn't last too long, however, as the lighthouse lets out an eerie howl like a monster dying. A spiraling black light stretches out across the sky. Alright, I'm a little afraid. Spirit has to yell at you just to be heard. Oh, yeah, it does that. Does what? The light and sound recede, and the two of you sit in silence. Spirit lays a towel down and then pats on it gently. Clearly, she wants your company, so you oblige. When you do, she takes out some sunscreen and hands it to you. Let's go, dude! You're not exactly sure what. Oh, I am. <laughs> Is this an invitation to get in a little hands-on action? Uh, what else could it be? Right? Dead. We're <laughs> <laughs> <Poor> talking. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely going to go with thanks because she doesn't. This seems like a real trapper thing. And she yeah. is very against trapper things, so I'm gonna go with thanks. Thanks, I forgot to bring my own when I uh, lost my memory and fell into the ocean. No problem. There you go. Figured as much. 
Spirit turns away while you slather lotion all over your body. You need any help? Ah, uh, yes! <laughs> Say less! You see a hand float around your back. <laughs> sure, why not? Sure, why not? Spirit's hand on your back is ice cold, but she has a soft touch. When she's done, she takes care of herself. You watch a spirit apply sunscreen to herself in the most unique way by floating her own hand around her back to spread it on. <laughs> Comment on the floating hand. I'm not gonna I say mean, nothing. that feels trapperish, bud. Uh, that's about the shards of glass sticking out of it. Yeah, her. she likes to talk about it. on their shards of glass. It's definitely between these two for sure. Because she likes to talk <laughs> about like her pain and suffering a lot, which, fair enough. <laughs> but then she's also kind of like the just let shit go with the moment type situation. I think Kelsey's right in this one. I think I'm going to trust Kelsey. Kelsey's going to get me not laid with the spirit. I feel oh, like it's going to happen. I'm still going to get you not laid by spirit. Sorry. <laughs> oh, fuck! This one's a rough one. We'll go say nothing. You look on in wonder. Not sure exactly what's appropriate to say in this moment. While you're staring at spirit's back, her head turns around and notices you looking at her. Sorry, is something wrong? I was just thinking about what you must have gone through to end up like that. It had to have been horrible. Let's go! It was worse than death. At least death ends eventually. But I wouldn't want to forget it. It literally made me who I am now. Truth is, I could pull all these bits of glass that are stuck in my flesh out right now if I wanted to. But I don't want to. Bro. Let's go. Each shard is a reminder of what my father did to me. And what the world did to him. That's why I refuse to play the universe's game. I hate the idea that I'll be forced to succumb to the pressure the way he did in the end. The way that fear and anger filled up in him and then came bursting out. The way his misery flooded our home and drowned us all. Yeesh. It's hard not to think about revenge. The dragon inside me, it's doing to me what the world did to him. I have to fight it, even though it gives me strength. I must maintain control. You're stronger than he ever was. I'm sure of it. I appreciate <coughs> that, Daddy. Let's go, dude. Hitting all the fucking check marks, baby. You. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose a little help isn't a bad thing in life, in love. This world is a lot to endure alone. Maybe I could use a little assistance reaching my delicate toes for better lotion. <laughs> Take it, dude. You know, Fuck it. <laughs> having your body contorted into these ventral poses, it really does a number on my joints. <laughs> Wait, repeat instructions. Like. Uh huh, it's a mini game time. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, gotta hit these. Oh perfect. my god, we're gonna have. No, guys, you need to realize we are going to have empirical evidence of whether or not Chris can find the button. Oh, That's wow. What's gonna happen here, everybody? I can't. Oh my god, he doesn't oh. suffer fun. Oh. Disembodied feet. I hate it. I hate everything about it. Oh, I had to actually point. stop. That's oh. way off. Wow. No, I'm not. That is what we learned. I'm sorry, do people put sunscreen on their feet? Ooh. I do. I'm ma My skin is made of ghosts. I mean, so is mine, but I just, I guess. I, well, I never go outside without shoes. Oh. I'm outside constantly. I'm trying to get trod on by wild animals. Yeah. Like I haven't worn sandals in a million years, I guess, so whatever. Look at Chris I'm trying, dude. It's getting yeah, fast, dude. Right I will be right back. Chris okay. is just on this beach. Okay. We, 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 we can just wait. Sunscreen right here. everywhere, missing the foot. 
like an idiot. Whoa. She's watching him. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> what? Out of the distance. Yeah, um... It's fast, dude. It's getting fast. Yeah, it is. A little, a little like, a little like a cat, like a laser on the wall. It's in circles, just like... Dude, bro, I'm telling you, dude, I got it, like, right there. I got it, dude. Yeah, all of us are, like, nodding our head to the rhythm of this Dude, this, <laughs> hey, this, the fucking soundtrack's fire, bro. Yeah, yeah. it is fire. I got a little scared with the lighthouse, that was for sure. Oh, did you think you were gonna have to, like, fight something or something? I thought I was gonna die. This <laughs> is like, you fucking chose wrong, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Getting scared on the beach. Possible. Oh, man. I wanted you to be called daddy because I'm like, this is gonna be funny. I did not at that time process how many times I was going to have to call you. Well, to be fair, I don't think we came up with the idea for you guys to actually do the voices until like, while we were already playing. What's the, like, hit that first, That's like, true. beach night, so. And I just assumed I was doing all the girls as the only, fe like, woman here. Yep. Like, it makes sense. <laughs> Works. And I assumed I would do all the men as the only man here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fair enough. The answer is open, so that I'm makes sense. Fun <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, shit. Guys, oh, we're just, me and Chris are just trying to get laid. Yeah, I'm just yeah, trying to get laid at this point. Are, yeah, we're trying to get laid. One Not by race, prefer yeah, preferably. But, look, how come I keep on getting set up? That's some <laughs> bullshit. That's because you can pick a terrible choices. Make I, better decisions, you I fuck. I fucked up one time trying to make a friend. I wasn't trying to fuck the guy, okay? <laughs> Well, let me tell you something. He thought something different. I was he to thought, to <laughs> yeah, he was. You did get rather close to touching his dick. That is very it. close. <laughs> See, when I let you take the will, we're in the hot tub with R Wraith. Whenever I take the will, I'm putting sun lotion on a fucking cut off foot on right a, now. On a <laughs> dismembered, yeah. dismembered fucking bloody foot. But hey, she fucking fire in this game though. Fucking well, fire. She can clearly use her detached fucking hand to go down there and fucking. She could, but she's letting yeah, us do it. Let's go, oh, dude. At the same time, it's very upsetting. There's what? Are you gonna pop one of those toes in that mouth or what? I might, ah! dude. I might. Let's go, dude. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Yes, sir. Say less. <laughs> I got full upset sheep with that suggestion. <sighs> oh. The real question is, do I leave all this in or not? That's the real question. <laughs> I feel like I have to. I mean, I make a great after the credits, like, like for everybody, like a blooper, you know, like a fucking yeah. yeah. There, there you go. That's fair. I'll chop it out and maybe we'll put like, like a little fucking like, behind the scenes. Uh, cause like even though Cantor turned off his camera, which totally moved all you guys around, you guys are all yeah, still dude. in picture. You're just in different spots now. So realistically, we could use it. <laughs> We know that he's gonna come back. Yeah, he said give him one minute. Oh, I didn't hear that. Yeah, that's more than one minute. I don't know. I this, 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 this the music is deathly loud for me. Oh yeah, this is super loud music. Is yeah. it that like? Are you? Is that intentional on your part, Chris? And no. can you change that? I believe you can turn down the music on your own side. Are she blows? But I'm not 100 percent sure. I, I can't do okay. shit on my side. Okay, <clears throat> it's something it's that we need to look it's... into. I think it's an in-game thing. Yeah. Okay. I can fine. turn it down in-game after we get through with talking to her, and then I can access the little setting wheel up there. Yeah, a little cog, yeah. Yeah. All right. Are you back? I'm back. We don't see you, though. Oh, boy. Huh? We don't oh, see you. Oh, the rest of us do. Suck uh, those toes. Well, I don't see... <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see you. And I'm the one that needs to see you because of the recording. The problem is, when people Hello. join after you in a Discord, oftentimes you have difficulty seeing them. Oh. Uh, Why don't you leave and come back in? See how okay. it works. If not, I might have to. Nope. Alright, let me fucking leave and come back in. See if it's just me. Oh, wait, won't that blow up break everything? Oh, it's gonna break. No. <laughs> no, we're good. Chris there is going to figure that out. I got it. No, we're good. Everybody's under spot. Oh, we're so good to go. All right. Really? Awesome. Great. Okay. Back into it. Okay. Back to the cat here. <laughs> okay. Everybody do some crazy shit so we know where to start at. <laughs> That's right. Shut up. <laughs> I like the cat just crazy shit is like thumbs up. Yeah. Thumbs up, bro. Wait, what happened? I barely missed it. Yeah. Oh. Well, 
I suppose that lotion made it to where it was supposed to be going eventually. <laughs> hey. And Anyone? you weren't too incredibly wasteful. I'm not a woman who believes in rushing through things just to get them done. Sounds good. Let's take it slow. <laughs> if there is a next time, I'm sure you'll do even better. I will fucking try. <laughs> You look up at the lighthouse. Its ominous dark form hovering <coughs> above this moment between spirit and yourself. Evil as it clearly is, in this case, it does you a solid by blurting out another ominous moan and burst oh. of black light that rescues you from this awkward silence. Oh yeah, let me do this right quick because we talked about it. I think we turned it up because we were trying to listen to the radio. Uh, yes. Yeah, we got yeah. that all the way up. Yep. Oh there god, we... thank you so oh, much. Yes, better. my ears are like fucking oh. dead at this point. I thought sure. it was just me, but I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> oh. I was I was this close to interrupting, but like Cantor was doing such a good job as the ocean and the narrator. I was just like, mm -hmm. just fucking hold on. <laughs> you read this one already, right? I did. Okay. Oh, what the Ooh. fuck? Go ship. Maybe no. From seemingly out of nowhere, an ancient looking ship appears in the water. It glows, itself a thing of death, a spirit of a ship that once sailed these seas centuries ago. Dude, we're going on a trip in my favorite ghost ship. No. A tattered yeah, black go, flag whips in the ocean air above the ship <laughs> as it careens towards the shore. Before crashing on the rocks, it must have been drawn in by the lighthouse. That's not how that works. No. You hear the distant shouting of sailors as the old wooden ghost ship breaks up and sinks into the water. Ah, I'm a sailor! Ah! Oh, <laughs> hi! <laughs> it does that sometimes, too. Should we, uh, do something? Nah. The sharks will take care of it. Within a minute, the ocean is quiet again, except for the waves. Note to self, hungry sharks! No. But these time-traveling pirates, or whoever they were, you're half sure you saw one of those skull and crossbone flags, aren't the only ones drawn here today. Oh my it's fucking Wraith. god. He has emerged this from the palm trees behind you. I have her exact mood right now. Like, <laughs> that is exact mood. Like this fucking. No, nah, hang on. I do think that if the Wraith is on screen, we need to have James no, 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 Sandler. No, no, no. Nah, I, think, I think we're fine. <laughs> I didn't come here to break up your date or something. Oh, you fucking did. Thanks a lot. <laughs> You're welcome. I came here for that. For that ass! Points at foot. <laughs> Yo, Ray back the fuck up! The lighthouse. <laughs> it is indifferent to his attention. I'm the one lotioning up those feet. You back the fuck up. <laughs> Give me them feet. <laughs> I've been seeing it in my dreams, shining its strange light on me, and avoid it. Through woods and walls, nothing seems to stop it from reaching out to me. That. It's a haunted lighthouse. It does that to everyone at some point. You're no more special than me. Those dead pirates? Or that mermaid I saw washed up on shore that one time? Ew! <laughs> Mermaids, by the way, aren't even close to as beautiful in person as they are in movies. More sea witch than underwater princess, if you get my drift. I do. Whatever you say. All part of a vast conspiracy, an epic river of lies that runs beneath the island. Bro, read the fucking room, alright? <laughs> like, fuck <laughs> off. I'm pretty sure I figured it out. Basics, anyhow. You come with me, I can- No! <laughs> you can get cut! Yeah, you fuck. I don't want to. <laughs> Spirit waves her katana, nearly trimming a couple buttons off of Wraith's tropical top. Let's he go. He takes the hint and backs away a few steps. Let's slowly. go, dude. But the quiet <coughs> guy, he never really shuts up. No shit. Okay, <coughs> be that way. You'll see. Load at last, tension broken, deathly moans quiet, and Wraith banished back to wherever he hangs out. You scooch closer to Spirit, breathing in the damp, foggy air that seems to emanate from her. 
it's not quite clear how that whole fog thing works, but you don't even care. You're feeling this moment. Goddamn right. Spirit seems to be feeling it too. She starts to adjust her robe, oh, get a peek oh, at the bathing suit beneath. Oh, I saw oh, yeah. it. Let's go. For someone who seems intent on proving how little she cares about what everyone else thinks, she put a lot of work into getting into that suit. It's got straps for days. That takes a lot of effort, gentlemen. <laughs> it does. However, you're so focused on what's happening with Spirit, you don't see the next interruption ah! coming. She's just over here fingering the <laughs> straps. And Claude like, <laughs> and, and, and Dwight burst it on you and interrupt whatever you were doing. It doesn't seem like they were worried they'd bump into much. I'm here to make... A very dramatic announcement. How about you fuck off? <laughs> well, technically, we're here to invite you to join us back at the beach. No. Where we'll be making a very <laughs> dramatic announcement. Fuck! <laughs> It's hard being the producers and the hosts. <sighs> Aren't survivors supposed to work in groups of four? Well, sure. doesn't matter. They're supposed to. When you arrive at the beach, Fuck you realize you were set up! Deci despite promising an announcement, Dwight and Claudette simply stand quietly. This isn't at all what was promised. Wait a minute. There's no announcement here? Oh my dude. fucking god, dude! It's a me! <laughs> fucking A! It's I'm me. so done with this guy! James! Hey. This is your hey. fucking fault, no, dude! Because you try to put your dick in him! <laughs> this is your fault, you son oh, of a bitch! Please. Fuck! <laughs> yeah. You got mud in your ears, friend? I told you to get lost! Exactly. Don't you see? Ross is what I am, and so are you. But I know the way out. A uh, map back in my secret lair. Literally. And figuratively. Yeah, I know the difference. You don't know how to get the fuck lost, apparently. That's why you should ditch Spirit and come spend the rest of the night with me instead. No. That's a go. I don't really <laughs> <laughs> I don't like how his fucking shirt is covering up her face at all right now. You've got a secret lair? Uh, <laughs> 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 Instead of got a snap, snap in my secret hair. There's a flap on my secret chair. <laughs> I'm an idiot now, I guess. I don't know. I'm changing subject. <laughs> Don't ask me what he's talking about. You're trying to make a mess of the first nice day I've had in I don't know how long, because it's not even clear what year it is, but in a while. I'm not about to be ditched for the likes of you. Fucking kill him. Kill him. <laughs> Please. I'm you messing things up. I like keep trying to tell you it's this dang island. I don't know. Island's doing a great job with me and her literally <laughs> five minutes ago. <laughs> Don't you accept a difficult truth? What's happening here? Well, since it's our fate, not anyone's decision. It's simply the way it will be. There's no use fighting it. Bro, you've been watching too much Lost. Like, fuck <laughs> off. There's a polar <laughs> bear in a black cloud of smoke. <laughs> Early is here. <laughs> What would you even know about fighting? All you know is hiding in your spooky little secret hair. Let's go! Crying like a baby while ringing your Let's ears. go, dude! <laughs> Fuck all what we call him. Ding ding? Fuck ding ding, dude. Yep, I'll Let's ding, go, ding. dude. Oh, yeah. Fuck him. So don't tell me what I can and can't fight back against. I was born a fighter. Goddamn a right. dragon lives inside me. I know that because she said it five I times. I can't not fight. Even when all I might want to do is hide? Don't you see this giant hat? It's a metaphor. Yeah, you She's a fuck. little bit valley girl. Like, I'm okay with it. Let's go. If I do have a fate, my fate is my own to win in every fight that comes my way. Let's Got go. It? <laughs> yeah, take him off. Please. Oh, you hide. I've seen you hide. 
do a little phase walking routine. What do you call that? Basically cloaking. We all know cloaking is a type of hiding. He's got fire on top of his head, by the way. I don't know if mm. anybody else knows that or not. But... Yeah, he looks, he looks crumpled. <laughs> I'm That's afraid. Uh, you cloak? I don't cloak. I'm not a cloaker. I phase walk out in the open. You just can't see me. I mean, she got right. You have no idea what they're talking about. I do. This that. sure sounds like some video game community forum thread <laughs> minutia that there ever was such a thing. I don't know you know about that either. It sure doesn't seem like Dwight and Claudette are going to stop this, so it's on you. I'm okay with that. Ahem! <laughs> Fuck off, boy! <Lloyd! laughs> I think I was brought here to make this choice, so I'm going to do that now. And I choose spirit. Oh. <laughs> She's not an option. <laughs> when it comes down to it, neither of these two seem easy to love. I mean, damn, spirit literally has broken glass shards sticking out of her. But she has a certain charm to her glue. She did say she could take them out. So maybe over time, I can make some <laughs> suggestions. And we can slowly start to get some of that dangerous hazard out of that the could play be a zone. Key. That's all Maybe I'm like saying. Maybe pull that glass out of your shoulder blade. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, this is great, dude. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Spirit and I were actually having a nice time. Besides, it is my fate to end up on this island. Well, to hell with fate, really. Bro, this fuck. Is that a man who is thinking with literally just his penis right now? 100%. He's like, I might get laid. 100%. I will worry about getting off the island after I get laid. Hundred <laughs> percent. And don't take this the wrong way, Wraith. But you're a dick. Fuck up, man. Anyway, <laughs> the amount of awkwardness you pack in a single day. No wonder you're so skinny. What does that even mean? I no wonder you're so skinny. All that second guessing yourself must burn a lot of calories. That's pretty it's good. That's not honestly. how anxiety works. Then every I'm anxiety dead, anxious legally, person would be a model. <laughs> wait. No mm -hmm. taken. It's, yeah. Okay. It's true. I can be a little awkward. I. Yes. Oh, look how sad he is. I don't care. Look how hot she is. I could give two fucks about the left side of the screen right now. I focus right there. Uh, right, so I'm going to stick with Spirit. Fuck off. Spirit breathes a sigh of relief. Huh. <laughs> I've got enough revenging to do without having to kill you and Wraith too. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> crossfire, babe! Crossfire! Hey, this ain't open on. season. Like, no, if you'd it's... chosen Wraith over her, I think you would have then been in the crossfire. <laughs> you were like, yeah. crosshairs. Yeah. I, don't know, I still feel a little attacked right now, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> the spirit walks you around the corner to show you something that she discovered in this place and knew was meant to be connected with her journey a cherry tree. Mm. A pop that cherry? I get it. It's just a small sapling, but it's begun to sprout flowers. It doesn't make sense to see a cherry tree here in this place. That's true. It also doesn't make sense to see a ghost in a black bathing suit, so you just accept it. I'm willing to accept this. Yeah, you are not looking at your surroundings asking questions <laughs> right now. Like, that is not <laughs> a single time. Look at the cherry blossoms. Look at the cherry blossoms. Look. <laughs> As Spirit steps up to the tree, a cold breeze pulls some petals off. And they come cascading through the air around the both of you. I've dealt with this fucking weird <coughs> monster noises coming from the spooky lighthouse, a fucking <laughs> ghost ship, oh. and fucking Wraith constantly trying to fucking get any fucking alone time with me, all just to put lotion on a fucking severed foot. I'm in it to fucking win it, alright? In it to fucking win it. Let's go. <laughs> Do you know the meaning of the cherry blossom? Mm -mm. Tell me. They're beautiful, but also quite symbolic. Of course, like all good symbols, their meaning is pretty complicated. What do they mean to you? That's a good question. Like, top notch. <laughs> right. For many people, being around among cherry blossoms is like being at a celebration of life. People travel great distances just to be near their vibrant beauty. I like to create life right now. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, my boy. Let's go. Team Spirit. Uh, <laughs> as beautiful as they may be, they aren't magical. They're simply flowers. They quickly die and fade away. And for this reason, they are also a symbol of the fleeting nature of life, of our fragile mortality. It's fair. I do want to say it's a love-hate relationship right now with James because, like, I know he's not Team Spirit. He's just Team Lead. So whenever, whenever this situation turns around, whenever this situation turns around and he's talking to the Huntress, yeah. I'm going to hate it. But I'm also going to be like, at least it's not Wraith. So, like, I mean, fucking... I feel so bad. Like JoJo's playing Wraith, and you guys are just like no, I, that guy. It's okay. I don't. Like, I'm not lost in the character. Like, I'm not, like method acting this. Okay. You aren't eoring around your house. Oh. <laughs> it just gets done. He's yes, like, my friends that. didn't want to fuck me in a video game today. <laughs> Amazing. Right. Guess I'm not sexy. <laughs> <laughs> not to this crap. <laughs> oh. In a way, it's the specter of looming death that calls attention to this special moment to see and appreciate life. How does that duality make you feel, Daddy? Well, unsure seems like the right way to go. Empowered still seems like the the trapperish type I was questions. Of power, <laughs> yeah, that seems like the trapperish type <laughs> answer. Yeah, it is, it is. For us, I could see either one of these, but uh, I don't know. Last I time I chose, sure. last time I chose the <gasps> nothing option. I mean, it got me here, but at the same time, she did do the yeah. whole like, "Wow, what's wrong?" So I'm kind of a little hesitant, but I do feel like the unsure is the way to go, though. I think so too. Yeah, yeah. I think it's frustrating. Spirit's question isn't easy to answer. You want to impress her, yes. but you also want to be true to yourself. I don't care. The entire range of human experiences stretches out before you, and you feel paralyzed by the different options available to you in this moment. And that's okay! It wasn't a simple <laughs> question with a simple answer. Who knows if Spirit herself even has an answer in mind? However, it occurs to you, like the fallen blossoms wilting at your feet, this chance at connecting with a beautiful person in front of you might be fleeting. No. Is one of these answers the better choice, or do you remain unsure? Oh, God. <laughs> okay, no, okay, hang on. No, I want to fix this with statistics. <coughs> statistics say move to a different answer. Okay. No joke. Statistics say move to frustrated. But I also feel the way that this game has been trolling us that it's solely trolling me right now. Like, I'm gonna pick frustrated, and it was fucking unsure. Chris, mm -hmm. Google the shit if you care that much. I do <laughs> really no, care, no, but no. I can't do that. <laughs> yeah. No, I do no, really no. care. Oh. What's your gut? What's your gut say right now? I'm gut? Sure it. Gut is statistics right now, and that's moved to frustrated. That's what gut is. Wait, is the chart correct or incorrect? <laughs> what? I need to know. What did you just say? <laughs> Or did you did you just display an incorrect chart that we need to fix or a correct chart? <laughs> no, I found an incorrect chart and I fixed it. This yeah, was but... an off-camera discussion. Um, no, statistics say if you're given three options and you choose, like, you're like, I'm going to choose this option and you're given the choice to switch, um, switching will get you the right answer 66% of the time. Well, yeah. that does... Uh, we don't want to get into a deep discussion of statistics. 66 here, is it does depend hard. on them being equally likely situations and not that there's a you know, a narrative author here that we can interpret their intentions. Like, Correct. This is just like flat, like, if you have yeah. three doors and, so and you have the option of switching doors. Where, yeah, maybe the game does actually want to fuck Chris over. Because, I think it does. But I, I think frustrated makes sense with her because she seems frustrated. She's she's bummed out. I know, that's why I, I'm, I, I can feel like frustrated. Works. Fuck it, we're going frustrated. If statistics fucks me, I'm going to be very upset tonight. Ah, I'm Team Wraith. I was lying. <laughs> <laughs> Got you, bitch. Ah. Uh, as you look at the chair <laughs> and consider Spirit's question, I am on your right own now. current predicament. Stranded here. No understanding of why. I'm no frustrated control. as fuck. <laughs> the beauty of this island, the attention of such an interesting companion, 
It should bring you joy, but it comes at the price of being Kelsey, completely Kelsey, confused Kelsey, Kelsey. and hopeless. Right? All of them. You look down and see a crumbling cherry blossom on the ground at your feet. As you stare at it, dragon. something begins to rage inside you, like a dragon. Let's go. She's penetrating. <laughs> Did statistics just get you laid? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. How can anyone find comfort, even for a moment, with death and decay looming on the horizon? It makes me so frustrated. It makes me so mad. I want to do something about it. I want to strike back against the shitty reality. Statistics is getting you laid. I'm okay right, with it. On. I'm okay with it. Spirit lets you go off. Stay calm despite your bubbling rage. She yeah. must know thoughts like this. Is that why she asked you? <clears throat> so that you'd see things from her point of view. I want to be alive! I want to get laid! <laughs> I'm just naked and runs around on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> you feel connected to her at this moment more than you have at any point before. You wonder, does she feel the same? Once the fallen cherry blossoms represented the souls of samurai warriors, those with noble characters, those who did not fear death, those who were killed in the great sacrifice to honor their emperor. Their lives were short, but their purpose gave them beauty. Those warriors saw death coming, but they never despaired. <coughs> they stood and faced it. They held their swords and struck down their fear. But despite the samurai spirit that lives on in me, in my noble bloodline, my life has ended. But my death continues to stretch on. The cycle is frozen. Causing frustration. This cherry tree, it's not real. Though its petals fall, they soon replenish. It's as if it were installed here by someone. Mm. You watch a spirit chooses her words very carefully. So hopefully you don't fuck this up. <laughs> By something with no respect for the balance of life and death. Mother hey, what's fucker, bro! Alright, here. You know we don't believe you, right? <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. no shit. Yep! <laughs> this time we got a really good reason. And it has nothing to do with us being manipulated by an unseen force. Because that's definitely not happening. Nobody accused you of that, but okay. We're just here to tell you that it's time for dinner, silly. Get it while it's hot. I'm trying. I'm fucking trying. <laughs> uh -huh. I guess it's time to go. Well, whatever. Thanks for spending some time with me today. I enjoyed it. It's a fucking W, folks. It's a fucking <laughs> W. Me, fucking, two. <laughs> All right, I think go. Spirit's gonna crawl in your tent at the end of the night. Let's <laughs> fucking <laughs> if I am go. From spirit, Jesus. <laughs> what a fun day you've been having. I can see it written all over your face. You're shining. And that's not just the remaining extra sweat, spending an afternoon courting a psycho killer. No, no. You're really feeling this whole romantic experience. Don't worry. I'll keep your dirty little secrets. But enough gentle ribbing. It's time to get back to business. All the <clears throat> appetizing singles have arrived for dinner, including Trickster. Wraith is here, too. No one cares. Literally, <laughs> no one cares. We're not going to do the gag where we cram them all on screen at the same time again. So just believe me, they're all here, and they're just as sexy and demented as you remember them. Jesus. With your love on the line, everyone is being very careful not to offend you by saying the wrong thing. I feel it's the other way around. I feel like I'm the one walking on eggshells, <laughs> not the oh, other shit. way around. Wraith just hops up whenever the fuck he wants to. He's like, <laughs> hey, bro, I'm horny. You want to fucking hang out? No, I fucking don't. Like, fucking Jesus, dude. Under my lair. <laughs> Congrats, by the way, on getting this far. I'm as surprised as you are that these four are falling for you. No, not because of your personality, but because you just met them yesterday. True. What can I say? 
However, since Wraith seems like the biggest long shot to end up holding onto your heart, he throws caution to the wind and speaks up. It's a pretty small consolation prize for being the least love killer on Murderer's Island. But hey, letting them have this moment in Spotlight is the least we can do. And heaven knows they won't do any better than that. I'm sick of watching everyone else gorge themselves while I'm preoccupied with, you know, trying to get to the bottom of this never-ending nightmare. Tonight, none of that. I'm not really hungry anyway. I say let's do a simple salad or something. The green kind, not the mayo kind. Mayo is gross. Alright, so the wraith Ooh. might actually be yeah, my match. <laughs> I'm fine with just lettuce. It doesn't have to be fancy. It's not an iceberg though. It has no nutritional value. Alright, I take it back, I'm in love with the wraith. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so disappointed in you right now. <laughs> Letting Wraith choose was a mistake. That's on all of us. See, he fucks it up for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, Kelsey. Okay. So shortly. So <laughs> power broker would like to know about your day. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was fucking around with the thing the kids are doing today. <laughs> this is this is the way kids do hearts today, apparently, because this is like too boomer. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Would you like <laughs> yeah, hurry up, boomer. Fuck. Group? You've had an interesting day, that's for <clears throat> sure. But how will you describe it to the others? Say too much or too little, and it could affect your standing with the group. As long as it doesn't affect I my standing sweet. with her, I'm fine. Yeah, that's <laughs> sweet. Yeah. Okay, but don't just sit there saying nothing. Nothing is not an option. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I feel like she is not the one that wants her business out there on Blast at all. So uh, I'm be thinking coy, be coy. 100%. Yeah. yeah. Coy. It wasn't really a date. More like two people Ooh. avoiding everyone else and choosing to be alone, but doing it in a relatively close proximity of each other. <laughs> That's exactly right. Couldn't have not said anything of value better myself. Let's fucking go. Spirits is clearly happy with the way you portrayed your date. No surprise. She doesn't like people getting into her business. Fucking called it. Let's go, dude. Fucking called it. Dwight and Claudette bring out dinner. Everyone eats in silence. No one trusts anyone now, and they are all very tired. Oh, wait, no, sorry. That's a dreary supernatural horror thriller set in Antarctica, not a charming parody dating sim set in an undisclosed tropical paradise. Bony appetite? Bony appetite? <laughs> Bony appetite. <laughs> Don't you mean bon? No. Almost everything we serve a lot of bones in it. Even the vegetables. <laughs> Impossible to avoid on this island. Okay. I Everyone agree. eats without speaking. Tensions are rising, both of the sexual and deadly variety. When everyone finishes, Twight and Claudette come back to clean up the table. They linger around you as they pick up your plate, take your napkin, and dust crumbs off the table. What would you like to say to the servants? <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> Hang on. The wraith, the spirit might care what answer you give. Yeah. No, but they ruined the date. They twice. did. They did. I feel like Why she wouldn't so say hard anything. To get Chris Laid? Exactly. But this is great. Let's keep this up. Team Chris Laid. I got it. I feel <laughs> like ignoring them would be something she would do, though. Like, she would just ignore all situations. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't There's think no she cares. no way you'd be on the side of thank them. Like, yeah, no. Yeah, exactly. Is there anything else we can do for you? Anything at all? I mean, they've just been cock blocking me all day, so I mean, really, <laughs> ignoring them would probably be my go to anyway. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Anything? <laughs> A manner <book>, perhaps? <laughs> well, Claudette, if I was trying, if I could bang you and it was on the table, maybe, but right now it's not on the table, so. It's fine. We're used to this kind of shabby treatment here on Jerk Island. Sweet. Fuck off. Everyone, if you would please be so kind as to follow us to the fire pit, we'd greatly appreciate it. We've been told something big is going to happen. Something that will change everything. Fucking, they take spirit off the island. I'm getting pissed, dude. 
can go willingly or you can go unwillingly. <laughs> no choice. Off cookies. Did you have a choice how you said that, dweeb? <laughs> <laughs> So I immediately regret how it did. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Something needs to change around here. Fire is rebirth. We're burning down the fucking island, guys. Let's go. Fire illuminates the soul. Hmm. The fire is too smoky. Oh, curse my eyes. Jesus Pretty sensitive fuck. eyes. I'm also horribly afraid of it. No one fire, likes him. I mean, Look at all their faces. Not my eyes. Trials of trauma, involving fire. <laughs> and finally, everyone starts moving towards the fire pit. If only to get away from Wraith's complaining. See? I feel oh. so bad for Wraith, oh my god! Okay, this is where we're going to stop. So that way there's a nice little cliffhanger on what's going to change next episode. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. <laughs> 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 we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here if you guys enjoyed this episode make sure you like you subscribe turn on notifications that we get notified next time we upload a video it's in the comment section below let us know if you thought there was any spots where we might have fucked up i don't think so i think this episode was a fucking w for me i'll fucking take it but make sure you share 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 that's the best way to help support us other than that I hope you guys have a great week we'll see you next time